This is an example of when weldments uh, can be used for woodwork. So most people tend to think of weldments as being structural members or steel piping or something like that there. We can also use it for um, frame design or any kind of woodwork options as well. Now what I've got is a simple layout of a uh, door plan and window. So a simple wall layout. Now what I'm going to do is create uh, an outer frame for my door, for my window and a skirting board. Now, we're going to use, uh, do this using weldments and the sketch profiles that I, I'm going to create now. So, I'm going to first off begin sketching on the, uh, this particular face. And I'm going to select the window loop first off. And I'm just going to do convert entities on that. So I'm going to take the window first. Then I'm going to come out of the sketch and just go to my weldments and use my structural member, I've already set up custom weld profiles in different sizes. Now for the window I'm using a 70 by 10 okay, and I'm just going to select the four entities, four sketch entities. Now if I rotate slightly we should start to see a preview, which we are. Now it's currently putting it in the wrong position so we need to modify that and to do that we change the alignment. So we're going to align it with this inside edge. So it's now making it flat on this face, which is what we want. One other thing we'll need to do though is it hasn't selected the correct position. So we're going to modify the location point for the actual weldment profile. So you see right down at the bottom we've got locate profile. I'm going to select this outer edge. So now that that's moved to the corner, like so, we're ready to go. So I'm just going to OK that structural member. And you see it's created very quickly and very easily a frame around the window. And then I'm going to repeat it for the door. So let's go back in and we'll do a sketch on the front. And this time I'm just going to select the entire face. And I'm going to do a convert entities. And then afterwards I'm just going to trim away the entities that I don't want. So we've just basically got this bottom loop. Okay. So if I go to my weldments, once again, choose my structure member. We're using the 70 by 10 well, uh, weldment profile for the door, once again. And again, I'm just going to select those edges. Now, once again, we'll need to align the profile. So we're just using this internal edge. And it's now positioned the profile correctly for us. We can OK that. Now, the final one is the skirting board. So once again, using our structure member, but this time we're going to use an 80 by 10 and select these bottom edges. We'll align it once more to get it in the correct position. And we're finished adding our structural members. Now you'll notice there's some overlap down here because the sketches uh, ran into each other. So we'll have to do a trim to chop back the, uh, chop back the skirting board. Now this is going to be a lot quicker than doing, a, say, a manual cut. So if we do a trim extend, we can select the bodies to be trimmed, which is that one and that one. I'm just going to untick allow extension because we just want it to be cut. And then I'm going to select the bodies that we want to use to trim them back. So we have this one and this one. And again, I'm just going to untick allow extension. Now once I do that there, I'll untick weld gap as well because we want it to be butted up nicely against it. Once I OK that, you can see it's created a nice skirting board right up until it meets the door profile, like so. So very quick, very easy, easy method of uh, creating door frames or any kind of woodwork options. And the nice thing about it is it's created a nice cut list for us so that we can get all of the, <coughs> all of the uh, profiles, the boundary boxes, uh, and all the information out in a cut list. And it will also nicely miter all of the corners as well. So there's very little manual input has to be done uh, when cutting or extruding.